So today I'm going to be showing you how to replace your harmonic balancer or crankshaft pulley in your Lexus GS300. This one's a 95. Hey guys, I'm Jordan and you're watching Facebook. After watching this video, your car problems stand about as much a chance as this laptop does against my hot leg. Now make sure you stay tuned so you can see what happened to the laptop at the end of this video. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment down below. Okay guys, here's the tools we'll need for today. We got a torque wrench with a 22 millimeter socket, a long 3 8 ratchet with a 15 millimeter socket, a 10 millimeter socket, not shown, another socket like this, but a 14 millimeter socket with about two inch extension, a regular 3 8 ratchet, flat head and Phillips head screwdriver, 14 millimeter combination wrench, a big adjustable wrench like this will also be helpful, um, a big breaker bar with another bar to go on the end of that bar. You're going to need that jack stand and jack as well and we'll need um, and we also need a special tool which I'll show you here in just a second. Okay guys and these are the special tools you may need for today and all you need is this guy right here and let's see we got these two bolts which are sitting right there and then this guy which is out of here and this kit comes from Harbor Freight. This special guy here helps you to hold on to the crankshaft pulley or harmonic balancer. All this can be bought at um, Harbor Freight. With all that said, we'll go ahead and begin today's project. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come underneath your hood and we've got to disable your car so where you start it, it starts, it cranks, but it doesn't actually crank up and fire up. And the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna disconnect this wire because it goes over here to your distributor. And the way you do that is you just kinda push forward, push forward on it and pull back on this piece here. And then this little piece will pop off. And what that will allow you to do, like I said, is it will allow you to start the car, but the car's not actually going to crank up. We need to utilize the energy from the starter. So uh, here in just a second, I'll show you your next step. Okay, guys, so the next thing you want to do is go ahead and get your jack. Jack up the car. And we're going to come underneath here and look at it. You can see where I've got my jack there. That's a good place to go ahead and lift it on up. And then the over to the side where you got that little ridge there, that's a good place to put a jack stand. You don't want the car to fall down on you. And then we're going to be up under here, but there's going to be a dust shield. And basically, you can see where my fingers, you got here, here, um, here. It's a bunch of 10 millimeter bolts. Just take them all out. And then there's also these little plastic screws and you just kind of screw those out and pop those guys out as well. You just take a flathead screwdriver, get it behind that guy and pop those out. Once you pop all those fasteners out, then the dust shield will come off. I'll show you the last one. There's two that are hard to get to. It's back there and back there. So that's once you get all the front ones off, it'll kind of be hanging. But those are the last two. So once you get that dust shield off, then we'll be looking at our harmonic balancer or crankshaft pulley. Okay guys, now what we're gonna be doing is you're gonna take a breaker bar and a 22 millimeter socket. You're going to need a pipe. This is off of my jack. It's the other half of my, my jack bar there. And you're gonna slip them on here. Then we're gonna reach up and we're gonna come up on this guy and you're, you're gonna get your socket on there and then you're gonna get your pole here on the ground and when you're looking at it, from this position right here, the bar is going to be on the right side. What we're doing here is we're going to crank the car and this guy is going to spin right, which is going to be spinning, sorry, this guy, your harmonic balancer is going to be spinning right, which is going to be spinning your bolt left. So we're going to go ahead. Um, start the car and then that's gonna break this bolt loose for us so you just the important thing to remember is to get this bar wedged up against the ground and 22 millimeter socket on that and then we're gonna start but again you don't want your car to crank up that's why we disconnected that wire so that's gonna break our nut loose so I'll show you here in just a moment okay guys and this is just an illustration of what that would look like you can go ahead and crank it up See, so it's spun, and then that will break that bolt loose. So here in just a moment, I'll show you your next step. Okay guys, now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use this puller 
to go ahead and pull this guy off. I'm going to show you off of the car how to set up this puller, but um, it's pretty easy. Once you get to this point, you're just going to use your combination wrench. It doesn't have to be a ratcheting combination wrench, but if you do have a ratcheting combination wrench, it's going to make life a whole lot easier because as you can see, I'm just going back and forth here. And then once we get it all the way done, it'll just pop off here. And here in just a moment, you'll see how you set this guy up and how this mechanism is working to pull off your harmonic balancer. Okay guys, once you finally get it wiggling and jiggling here, we're just going to go ahead and pull on up and we're going to slip this guy down and it, it looks like I may need some sort of strategy here um, and I can't just do it with one hand. So as soon as I figure that out, maybe just a little more wiggling, I'll show you it here in just a moment. Okay guys, so we just got the old one off. This is our new one and that is not supposed to happen. So if you having the same kind of issue there yeah that's when you're gonna want to replace it um ours was causing a whole lot of noise so um that's that's the source right there this is our new one all intact so now we're gonna be putting this one on and now i'm gonna show you how to hook up your tool so you can pop that off okay guys so now i'm gonna show you how to get your tool hooked up here so we can remove this we're gonna pretend this is sitting on the engine you've already got that bolt out and basically, we got this piece here, we're going to run two bolts through there, and we're going to start this guy right here. And this guy, in theory here, this bolt is going to push in the center where there's nothing, and we're going to be holding on to the pulley, and we're going to pull the pulley off of the engine. So, we're going to do that, we're going to set our two bolts here with washers. Uh, make sure you grab those washers. I didn't mention that in the, the what you'll need, but you... You know now, so now we're just gonna go ahead and get these guys lined up, and it's not as easy when you're underneath the car, but you should get the idea, and that's what you need to know. So there you go. Once you got those guys fastened in a little bit, maybe uh, four or five times, uh, spun around in there, then this guy will pull up like so. Then we'll run this guy all the way down, and you can see this guy moves around. Just kind of get him even, and we'll get this guy in the middle. Then it's a 14 millimeter on the end of this guy. And one more thing I failed to mention. Part of the tool here, this snaps right into the end of this guy right here. So right in the end of the So right in the end of this bolt looking guy, this guy'll snap in there. And what's happening is this guy is going in the middle of that hole and you're pushing down because you're spinning right. And while you spin right, it's going to force the crankshaft pulley off of the engine. So this is how this tool works. You need it and you're, you're going to use it in order to get this pulley off. Next, I'll show you what you need to know as far as pressing the pulley back onto the car. And guys, real quick, I just want to show you. This guy just kind of plugs in. It's got a little detent right there and just snaps on in there. So that's how that works. Okay, guys. Now, when it comes to installing your new harmonic balancer, what you're going to do is first, you're going to line up this piece with the little kind of chuck that's sitting off of the stud looking thing so you line this piece up with the stud and kind of just sit it on there it will just sit on there then we're going to take this piece we're going to reach around and we're going to spin this guy in this thread will fit into that hole so you're going to spin it on in there once it catches and you spun it pretty good um, also you're going to have this piece right here is going to be in behind this nut so you're going to have that spun in and it's going to be looking like that then once it's kind of in there good, um, basically we're going to be catching the bottom of this piece right here. That's what it's going to look like. It'll look flush like that. And then you'll be spinning this piece. And when you're spinning it, this is attached to the engine and we're coming closer to the engine with this. So that's how, that's the theory behind how we go about pressing on the harmonic balancer. So righty tighty it's gonna get this guy in and the stud may stop and that just means it's all the way in then you'll start spinning this nut here so yeah and while you're spinning our little piece here this guy says stationary and this guy spins around that's why we need this from that set so um that's how you're gonna install it so um as far as putting everything back together you're just gonna get that shield back on and make sure everything is back on the belt there's a pattern under your hood if not check out the video where i show you how to actually remove and install the belt i think it's a uh, do a youtube search fixbook 
Lexus GS300 drive belt or serpentine belt just do a YouTube search for that and then you'll find the video showing you exactly how and that's if you don't find that little diagram that little image under your hood there so that's gonna pretty much conclude today's video thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time Thanks for watching, guys, and don't forget to subscribe so you can catch all my new videos, which publish Mondays and Fridays at 9 a.m. Pacific Time, 10 a.m. Mountain Time, 11 a.m. Central Time, 12 p.m. Eastern Time, and I will see you then.